comic book artists this kind of approach to constructive drawing. So we're just talking again about the rudiments. Maybe there's a shadow over here that's sitting on the ground a little bit, maybe off this way. Throw a little cast shadow on it. And we've got, grab my chalk here. Maybe the light source is hitting here. To there. And we've got a nice uh, sort of noodle, uh, what I call a noodle cylinder. Let's do a few more down here. I'll kind of bend down so you can, you can see that. Uh, maybe this one's closed over here. So I'll think of this end more as closed. I'll show you what I mean. And this end a little bit more open in through here, but also disappearing but open. So see how I did that's different from there. That's closed, that's open. This is closed now. And this is open. As you're sketching, let me show it to you now. A darker marker here. So that's closed. Round form. This comes around. And so here's what I'm feeling. Here's the kind of action through. And then I'm feeling this. Contouring, contouring. Almost like a slinky, if you will. Like you're drawing a slinky, kind of. If you guys know what a slinky is, maybe. And I may be too old for that or you're too young for it, I'm too old. So we have that, so that's another cylinder. Then what happens if we put maybe two together, two different ones, and so we had this coming here to there, but all of a sudden this kind of, maybe we close it here, so it gets really squeezed over there. But then now this kind of open, maybe it mirrors it maybe, like that, and so on, and it comes over and across, and so you can do really wonderful things with it. You just want to make it feel tube-like with your drawing. There we go, like so. All right, so let me maybe darken this in here to there and I'll get my tube coming in across very curved through that point and over so here's my contouring across the form lots of tension kind of right in through here where it's contracting that's expanding you'll see that later on with respect to the human torso it's kind of like a line of beam form we'll talk about that when we get to the figure once you get past all these, you see so you got that through here. So there's your other two coming through, and now contouring, contouring, contouring around, contouring around, etc. and so on. And you get this wonderful kind of action. So again, very different from a more traditional looking, you know, kind of cylinder. Maybe it's coming at us in slightly downward. So here's my lips this way, and then it comes at us again. You just want to know the action or direction. Put my straight line there across, my straight line there across, and then there's my tube or cylinder coming, coming through right there. So there we go. So the name of the game is lots of practice. Okay. So there you have it. So there's cylinders in space. All right. Okay. So if you have any questions, or you're not quite sure, email me or email your instructor, let them know. And um, good luck. Hope you had fun. Hope you learned something. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.